Hi, I'm back. Uh, good afternoon. This session uh, was designed uh, to contrast the earlier session. Uh, as you uh, managed to uh, hear the earlier session, I thought the earlier session was uh, uh, extremely engaging and at the same time informative session which uh, all of us can pick up and learn. Um, um, that session, as you can see, was where Dr. Jadi, or Dr. I, I like to call him the Masala Star, Dr. Jadi. Uh, Dr. Jadi uh, gave us a very insightful, theoretical point of view of law, uh, sports law. And then our sports commissioner gave us an insight in his mind on how our sports development act and his office works in the development of sports and law. And then came Dr. Sundra, who, as you can see, uh, is trying to revolutionize how we sort of dispute resolution. But it's very much for sports association, um, very much for internal sports. Now, we wanted to get our athletes, the people who uh, will wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning and do that Rocky Balboa run, uh, the people who will hit, and in this case, two of them do this, they take a ball and hit the ball a thousand times to make sure that they will always get it right. And no matter how many times they swing the racket, they never hit the racket on the wall. I don't know how to do that. And these are, these are people who are carrying Lama Malaysia on their heart every time they play sports for, for the country. So it is uh, my extremely great honor. In fact, I, I'm, I'm awestruck because I always see these players in the newspaper and now I finally get to meet them. Um, it, it's like a, a meeting a, a major star. So I wish first to invite, and uh, David's first, uh, I would like to invite our current national record holder and our uh, champion swimmer, Miss Kuchai Lin. Miss Ku, as you know, is one of our Olympians. Welcome to the stage. Uh, I would like to invite, uh, and even though we have the same surname, uh, I've been asked many times, uh, she's not my sister. Uh, but I'm very proud that one of my surname also is, is a good, uh, powerful sports athlete. And none other than our Sharon B, uh, champion sport, sport player. Somehow he's going to beat me up, you know, this time. Um, what we're going to do in this session is this. Um, it's a bit different from the earlier session. And we know by now, let's face it, uh, let's be frank, we're all a bit tired already. Uh, you know, we makan 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 makan, we have a uh, and then we had a very good talk. Let's just chill out, relax until about one something, we go for lunch. But now, let's have a chat room. Let's have a chit chat with all our, uh, our sports athletes and let's hear what they feel, what they want. Um, a lot of times we hear disputes in papers about sports association. We rarely hear what the sports athletes want and what they need. And if you recall earlier in my opening speech, it was actually RWI's interaction with the athletes where we then discovered that actually sports is a totally different area. And, uh, as a law firm, we cannot deal, I think Dr. Daddy will agree, we cannot deal sports like the corporate law. It is just totally different. So this is the best time. We thought this is a good time that uh, we have a chit chat. All of us be involved. Uh, and then uh, let's hope that we can maybe come up with some kind of uh, idea and, and conclusion at the end of this session. So can I first start? Um, uh, hi, Charlene. Uh, you know, I think at the moment, uh, uh, you're still an active uh, swimmer, I believe. Yes, I yes, yeah. So, uh, 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 do, do you see yourself uh, in the swimming, swimming uh, industry? Let's call it industry. Right? Do you see us uh, being the next uh, major professional sports? The sports, uh, like, like football is now professional in Malaysia. Uh, squash to some extent. Uh, badminton definitely to, to 
not extend. What about swimming? Do you think swimming can be a profession, I think? Um, to a certain extent, yes, they can become a, um, an elite sport and a professional sport as well. But having said that, there's a lot of um, parents who are also more involved with their children's education and they think that education is, you know. So that I feel like that is one of the main barriers in Malaysia where a lot of swimmers, they retire at a very young age of like 16 or 17 to concentrate on their SPM and then go on to university. Okay, I think they fade away. Really. Yeah, yeah, true. So do you think like uh, on that very interesting point, this is straight away one good point. Do you think uh, our current sports school uh, scheme, do you think it's a, a good help or perhaps more can be done? What do you think? Definitely, I feel that the sports school is a very good um, school to go to. I mean, like, we have um, we can train before and after school because our school is only at, um, from 9.30 to 2.30. And after training in the evening, we go back um, and we have tuition at night as well. I guess that's the way forward. Yeah. Guess, uh, yeah. Asla, what do you think? You know, um, were you a product of a sports school uh, or you went on your own and uh, I was the product of a school. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, I was the first, I think, if I recall, I was the first guinea pig. <laughs> I remember going to the school and there were very few of us in the school. Mm. Um, but uh, when it was done before, um, I was under a, a program called Gamiram Smilam Bas Smilam So that was a 1998 Commonwealth Games program. Um, they recruited pretty much all the athletes, so the young athletes, and groomed us to get ready for Commonwealth Games 1998, which was in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Um, so we were the trial and error. We, uh, we kind of made sure what school timings were right to get the training plans right, and then work it out. And then after that year, I think that's when they started recruiting uh, more kids to, to, to come in. Yeah. yeah. Actually, if I can share, I, I think on a uh, a major sport level, uh, we also see uh, soccer, football, where after so many years, we finally won uh, uh, the Suzuki Cup and Sea Games. And many of the players, I don't know you, you realize, actually came from a sports school, right? So it goes to show, I suppose, the sports school is, is a way forward. But in your view, from, from, from a sports school, uh, sports school scheme, is there anything more the system can do to assist athletes like you? And when you're 13, 14 years old, you're coming up, what do you think now, looking back, what more could the system have done? Yeah, I think um, if, if I had to turn, turn back time uh, and, and go through all the, the experiences that I've gone through, and I think um, especially going through the tail end of your career, you start realizing that you know perhaps the school, I uh, probably a joint effort with um, the school, maybe the Ministry of Education, the Higher Education, and perhaps maybe uh, job, job creations. I think what would be really interesting would be uh, a career path topic. You know, you could maybe educate the athlete and perhaps, correct, and perhaps their parents as well. Because I think the big issue is now we're losing a lot of athletes um, who do very well in their junior career, but then fade out through, I think as Charlie mentioned, after 17. Because for them to make that leap into that full-time basis, and then to to then do it for numerous years, and then you know not 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 to say, but a lot of the time come up empty-handed. Mm -hmm. So they're done with their career, and they're left not doing much. You know, after doing so much for the country, etc., etc. So I think perhaps a, a career counselor. Mm for sports would be a great initiative to move in the sports school from a young age because then you give the kid or you give the athlete security and you also maybe give the parents and it could also be a tie up with GLCs in terms of job opportunities after that. What about tie up with sports associations? Do, does the sports school have a direct tie up with the sports associations? Yeah, I, yeah, the sports school does have a direct tie up direct. with sports associations but I think sports associations can only pull so much weight you know, I think it has to be something bigger.